Hi guys, welcome back to the United Kingdom Crayfish Association's official YouTube channel. You all know me, Andy Mack, aka Mack of the Trapper. Right guys, we're back in Bridge North, up at a lake called the California Lake. Apparently according to local anglers guys, this place is absolutely rammed with uh, American signal crayfish. As you may have remembered on the last video where I did a trap just over there, we pork luncheon meat in and pulled out 56 crayfish out of one trap. Ridiculous amount of crayfish to come out of one trap. And uh, here we are back again basically doing another bit of field research. Some have been niggling away at me uh, the last couple of weeks uh, about the uh, salmon oil. Now we know that the salmon oil didn't attract the, uh, the Turkish narrow claw, but it does stink of fish and it's something in the back of my head saying that this is going to work with the American signal. So basically guys we're here back up at Bridge North in the California Lake shopping for the American signal crayfish using salmon oil. And how you do that guys is exactly the same as we've done before by putting it on a clean sponge. As you can see it's going to be a fair test guys so we're going to be using a brand new clean sponge as you can see here. And salmon oil which I've got in this blue bottle here. Okay. So basically what we're going to do is put this onto the sponge like so. I'm going to demonstrate that for you, okay? Basically running the oil up and down the sponge like so. And you can see the sponge now absorbing all that oil. Like so. And that, guys, is basically what we're going to be looking at, okay? We're now going to put that into the trap. Like so, making sure it's nice and secure. And then I'm going to stick that in the water. I'm just going to move the camera now, guys, so you can see the dissipation of that oil through the water. Okay, guys, so here we are. There's the trap, there's the sponge with the oil on it. And I've chucked that into the water underneath these uh, uh, roots that are now exposed into the water, so you can see the actual oil penetrating the water. Okay, so here we go. And you can see there, guys, beautifully, the oil now penetrating that water. You can see the bubbling effect of that oil coming through the water. And that's really going to carry that scent throughout the, throughout the water and hopefully attract some American signal crayfish. You can see that there, guys, really working well. The bubbling effect coming off the water there, really working well. It's quite inland, to the, close inland to the waterway. To the, to the bank here because that's where the American signal is going to be. It's all going to be under these roots here guys, okay? So that's where we're going to leave that uh, that trap now to, uh, to dissipate. You can see the oil there guys. You can see it all coming up from the surface. Let's give that a quick jiggle. You can see more oil now coming up to the top of the water, okay? 100% natural product guys, okay? 100% natural, which is no way contaminating the, the uh, natural water and or polluting any of the waterways or harming any of the other fish. So we're going to leave that now for another four or five days and come back and see what's in there. Okay guys, as you've seen there, that water now is up, that oil is anticipating throughout the water there. It's going to look really good. Hopefully it's going to work really good. Uh, not too sure about the results. Like I say, it didn't work with the uh, the Turkish narrow claw, but the sweet, sweeter baits did. And as I said before, this is exactly the reason why the field research is done by the UKCA on behalf of uh, Craster America, because Mike did uh, catch American signals using salmon eggs. And they, he did catch quite a few in that video, if I recall correctly so 100% pure salmon oil uh, on, the, on the sponge dissipating nicely throughout the water there are three traps on this lake guys okay I'm going to use all of them in exactly the same way I'm going to put them back in the water I'm going to come back in five days time and see exactly what's in there uh, just a short video today guys okay so this is video one of the field research using uh, salmon oil as bait does it work with the American signal crayfish we'll find out in five days time okay so we'll be coming back in five days time guys to see if that's worked until then, I'm Andy Mack, and you are watching the official channel of the UKCA on YouTube. Until next time, guys, keep it safe, keep it great, keep it UKCA, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.